Today in the amazing world of Power World, we're gonna be building up a gigantic base and I'm gonna be getting an army of pals to do it all for me. Because uh, currently our house is, um, you know, I mean, it's something. It's a little house. And we're still in like the starter zone and I don't wanna live here because this place kind of sucks. But the army has begun already. By that, I mean, this is nowhere near enough, uh, pals. I want to get like, like 800 land balls to build me a house, basically. Also, in the last video, you guys commented, uh, great locations for me to be able to build because ores are going to be a very, very important thing later on in this world. I had no idea about that. So good looks, comment section. You guys are the best. And now I know a lot of people are saying, cause there's like a little coordinate thing in the bottom left. It, a lot of people are saying like negative, like five positive, like 500 or no, it's positive. You gotta double check. It's like seven and negative 500 and something. Wait, what's happening? Wait, hold on. I'm just, I'm literally in my map and then we're getting raided. Hello? Bro, they don't want the schmo. I mean, I don't want it either, so well, let's get the bow ready. I have no arrows. Um, is someone come over here? I need to craft up another workbench. Also, um, here, someone make me these arrows. What? Oh, no, they're coming already. All right, hold up, hold up. <laughs> Bruh. Make more, make more, make more arrows. Come on. I'm making spears. Cancel. Oh, my gosh. Okay, um, I'm overweight now. This isn't good. Uh, drop that. Nope. Oh, no. This, this is going terribly. No, nope. oh, I'm still overweight, dude. Okay. Ah. Um. Oh. The land balls already beat him. Good looks, land balls. Good. Uh, you guys protected your house. Respect. One's on fire. You know, in a in a moment of panic, you know, I may have crafted up spears instead of arrows, but hey, we're fine. So as I was saying, though, location wise. <laughs> A lot of people are saying kind of like around here would be a great location to build a base because there's like a mountain that has a lot of ores and stuff like that. And my only fear is obviously leaving behind our current base and like our current pal box because I don't know if I like destroy this. Will it just get rid of all the pals that are here? I don't know. We'll find out. However, we're going to go scope out that other location. And I also want to level up along the way because uh, yeah, we, we need to level up badly. I want to be able to fly. I hate not being able to fly and actually i know one of the fastest ways of leveling up in this game is to actually just catch 10 of each pals i throw a uh a pal ball while riding this bad boy because like obviously this would be a super easy way to do it oh yeah oh yeah there we go come on now hey nope what brother get back in there don't want to do this right now there we go yep Perfect. So we have two fox parks. I would need 10 of those. I don't believe I have a, a bunch of chickpeas either. Come on now. Get up there. Yep. Yep. Okay. This is why I want to fly. I'm stuck in a river. And then we do also have a night wing, which would be great to be able to fly on. However, we, uh, we kind of can't yet because I need to level up to get the saddle. So that's like level 15 though. Yeet. No, no, no. Oh my gosh. He just nuked him. You right, little man. Oh, he's in the ground. Oh, come on now. You can get out of it. I believe in you. Or not. And that should be the 10th chickpea. Come on now. Better stay in there. Boy, I'm gonna beat the crap out of you. And there we go. Got some juicy XP off of that. And I'm pretty much just gonna continue to capture 10 pals of each as we go. No, no, no. Don't kill that. I want... I needed 10 of those. Ooh, I see one of those little effigy thing. Oh, sorry. Um, you talking to me? Okay, well, this has got to happen now. I put you guys down, huh? What? Or, well, technically, I could catch 10 of you two. Stop resisting. My only fear is that if I leave this area, am I going to still be able to have the same pals? Because I know once you get into different areas and different regions, then there's like different pals. And then that's obviously going to be a huge issue. If I'm going to want to like uh, capture 10 of these things, will there be crevices in this new area? I don't know. And obviously there's only one way to find out. And that's actually going on this adventure. Finally, you getting distracted man. every time it's just, I see these pals and I'm like, oh, capture that. All right, well, so far, so good. There are some crevices along the way anyway, so this works out, actually. Oh, this looks like a beautiful area to build, to be honest. Nice, gigantic, flat area. The only problem is that, yeah, there's, like, no ores and trees. I need my pals working hard.
There's a whole war going on over here. What the heck's going on? Syndicate thug. Bro, they're shooting each other. Hold up. Need, need to intervene. I got to save the power merchant. Come here. No, we got to save him. No, he's cooked. Bro, now they're beating up the monkey. There you go. I saved you, little mans. You know what? Um, so yeah, we couldn't save the pal merchant. <clears throat> That's all right. You know, usually I don't like playing games at night, but I do only need uh, one little crevice. <clears throat> and they are sleeping and they are kind of easy pickings right now. Hey, why aren't you guys sleeping? Huh? <coughs> Bro, holy crap, this guy's strong. I got him backed into a wall. And you ain't gonna do nothing about it. You me, llama Bahama mama. Yeah, that's right, get him. Oh, almost deleted him. Oh, what the heck is that? Dude, Tom bat, that thing is sick. I want it. But we gotta battle this thing. Ah, okay. We're gonna have to tag team it. What the hell is even that? Bro just nuked me. Yo, beat his cheeks. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that's right. What's up? Okay, wait, wait, I need something else. I need something a little stronger, huh? Oh my gosh, dude, he's doing so much damage to me. There we go. There we go. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna hide. He's also low. Please, don't I have like medicine? Okay, so that doesn't just instantly work. It's more so for like pals. Um, because I'm one hit away from dying. The bro is also one pal ball away from being mine. Ew. Yeah, come on. Come on. What the heck is that? Bro, nighttime pals are scarier. No! Oh, I need something that'll not quite kill it. Get a little bit weaker. Just a little bit. Oh, not too much. Not too much. Bruh. I have no pal balls. I have no more pal balls. I hate running out of resources in this game more than anything. This is so upsetting. Just got to pause the battle. <laughs> got to mine some stone. Get some stone. There we go. All right. Now, surely that one will work. I was so low on health. There's no way. Okay, if he comes out. Okay, now we got him. All right, nice. Nailed it. We only struggled all the way through that battle. And there we go. That should be the 10th Cativa. So now, yeah, we're actually already level 13. Uh, originally, I was like, oh, we're not going to be able to really do much exploration. But uh, yeah, once I hit 15 and we're able to fly, it's game over. Hold on a second. Oh my God, what is that? I'm seeing some Mamorants fighting out there in the distance. All I know is that I might be able to catch another weak Pokemon. I mean, pal, it's pal. Oh, one of them's already dead. Uh, oh, perfect, actually. Thank you, Mamorous. Come here, fine sir. I would like to claim you. Oh my gosh. Nope. There's no way. Zero percent. What? I was at zero percent. Bro has no HP. All right. Um, I don't want to kill it. Just stop resisting. Nope. How? Is it just really hard to catch one of these things? You know what? Oh. Oh, it, it's just really strong. No, 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 no. My pal's going to go fight it. Oh, no, 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 no. He's going to go fight me. Oh, pal ball. Here we go. Okay. All right. All right. We got this under control. Bruh. No, I didn't want to throw the pal ball already. Oh, I have to use a better spear. Oh, okay. We're just going to claim some XP then. We're just going to knock him out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get him. Let's get him, boy. Let's get him. Huh. No, that's kind of interesting. Thousands of tears later. That's fine because we're... Basically just gonna act like none of that ever even happened. Anyways, back on that uh, level 15 grind so that then we can be able to fly everywhere. Oh, uh, great, we got another raid. At least I can be able to get a lot of XP off of these things, you know? Since that's pretty much all we're doing is power level. Ooh, actually, hold on, I wanna catch these things. Can I catch these? Surely. Nice. I mean, if you could catch a merchant, you could catch these things. Okay, get back here. Stop us this thing. Perfect. Did we get all three? Oh, yeah. Some raid that you guys had, huh? Hold on a second. I found another shiny. I hear it's shining over here. Why does it got to be a Gumas? This thing is ugly. It's pretty weak, though. I accidentally threw a power ball at it. Now we only have two. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's kind of cool. It oh, my. Okay, we're, we're we got it. Yeah. We got to do something about that, my boy. No way we're just going to let you get away with beating the crap out of me like that. Gumas got to be the lamest pal I've ever seen in my life. Why is he shooting a god ray at me? Okay, is he low enough? Is he low enough? Can we catch him? If not, perfect. Okay. Whew. Oh my gosh. Apparently, bro is battle ready. What the heck? Why is he so strong? I think he'd be able to see his like special features. Lucky and Vanguard. Pal Blast? 
which does 150 damage and then sandblast okay so i'm gonna go ahead and take him with me and now i got two shinies technically we got the chickpea and then we also got the gumas oh my gosh i just realized we also got level 15 off of that which i haven't been using like any of my technology points by the way i've just been like leveling and i started using a little bit and then i was like i ah, will deal with that later tansy's assault rifle what? yeah we're gonna go ahead and grab that one um, we're doing the Nightwing Saddle. That's a priority. The Mill sounds important. Wheat Plantation sounds like it could be useful. Mega Sphere, need that one. A Sphere Workbench also sounds important. Hold up. We're doing Sphere Workbench real quick. Insufficient material. I need nails. Okay, which obviously I need metal, which I unlocked nails, but yeah, I need ingots, which means I need to smelt down metals and see this is why where we live is very important. Now all I gotta do is craft up a pal gear workbench. Thank you everyone, I appreciate all the hard work. I love every single one of you. And then I can be able to craft up a Nightwing saddle. All I need is leather, cloth, ingots. All right. Whew. Looks like we're crafting up a smelter. Yeah, I thought this was gonna be a lot easier. I thought it was just like, hey, you unlocked it, you get it. So now we can craft up a primitive smelter. And then now technically I could craft up ingots. We have a bunch of ores. Well, actually, hold on. If I, let me put this fox park. Oh, well, we have a bunch of fox parks. There we go. And then now let me craft up these. And then he should just do it on his own. Perfect, perfect. I'd love to see it. If I put more fox parks, will it go faster? Or is it just like a one man job? No? You want to help out over there? Who are you talking to right now? All right, well, back in the pal box you go. What about the merchant? What you gonna do? Oh, you can still buy and like trade with him after capturing him. I just gotta put him in the pal box at, at the base. Okay, regardless, he's not doing nothing. So, more Bob the Builders on the base is the better. Is the is the better? Is is better? I hate myself. And now, finally, at long last, after all that grinding, we can craft ourselves up a Nightwing saddle. Oh my gosh, someone get over here and help me with this. Hold up. Yeah, someone someone get on this job. What do you want? Any more Bob the Builders on the job? Everyone get over here. Do they not build like uh, POW items? Okay, no, okay. Now he's helping. One extremely annoying shift later. And finally done. It was all worth it. Because now I can finally fly around bask in my glory this is gonna make getting around much easier oh i hear another shiny it sounds like it's coming from over here hidden it's a cativa i might one shot this thing I'm a little bit worried actually hold on maybe i maybe i fight this one with my hands ah bruh. okay no it's a it's a it's stronger it's stronger get him get him nightwing beat his cheeks yeah oh my Anyways, now that we got flying, obviously we can be able to just easily fly to the locations to go check out where we want to live and all the different... Ooh, there's a little, uh, little eggy right there. But check out these different locations and obviously decide if we want to build our gigantic house there that we will be forever expanding. Oh my gosh, I see another egg. Okay, um, we collect an eggs today. Still don't even have an incubator. Um... So that sucks. But you guys commented down below in the last video that apparently to get an incubator, I got to beat bosses. And then when I beat bosses, I get the, the ancient technology uh, skill point and then I can be able to get it. Which actually, now that I think about it, there is a very easy boss. Yeah, the level 11 chill it over here, opposed to, you know, fighting the 38 Mammarist. Oh, we got ourselves a bridge, actually a man-made looking bridge with a little fiery smoky stacky. What's going on over here? Oh, there's barricades. Oh, this is like a hostile camp or something. Ooh, I see all the ores though. That must be where everyone's been telling me to live. Doesn't look like we're gonna have some pretty mean neighbors. Although I will say it's looking beautiful over here with the nice little like folly kind of biome. We got all this iron right here. Yo, yeah, you guys weren't capping. This is actually juice. What the heck? You can set up like a gigantic house right here on the hillside. I'm definitely seeing why people would want to live here. You got this nice little plateau-y kind of areas. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. This, this has got to be our home now, for sure. Oh, we got some little wolfies, dire wolves. Or dire house. Same Game of Thrones, same dire wolves. Now my only beef with this is that... I already have a base. Cannot build any more bases. Blah, 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 blah. Sure, sure, sure. Blah, blah, blah. And I don't know if I get rid of that pal box, if it's going to just delete all the pals in that pal box. I'm hoping it doesn't because otherwise I have to level up the, the pal box and I'm, I, 
I think I'm just way too lazy. I don't think I can do that right now. I'll be honest. After power leveling to 15 just to be able to fly? I don't know. I and mean, surely there's like a teleporter or like a checkpoint somewhere around here, right? Oh, Syndicate thugs are fighting some land balls and stuff. Not on my watch. Oh my gosh, dude. They got blickies. They actually... Okay, maybe I see why living here is kind of risk. What's up? What's up with a gangster? Get clapped up. Yo! Oh, I shot the dire wolf. That's not what I meant to do. I wanted to get these guys. What if I capture one? <laughs> about you, huh? Oh, dang. They take a lot to capture. Okay, look. Dire wolf. Uh, uh, dire howl. Uh, I don't want to. Okay. You know what? Whatever. I'm just going to. I'm just going to capture one of them. Just because they're kind of cool. I'll be honest. Yo, what the heck is that? Incineram? Oh, my gosh. I want that Incineram. I want whatever that is. I don't have any arrows. God dang it. Okay, we're fighting. We're fighting right now. Get him. Sick him, boy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. My Nightwing's getting a little weak. I can't be having my, my Nightwing get clapped up right now. That's my ride home. And then the Syndicate Thug, he's bugged out. I love to see it. Free opportunity to catch one. Oh my gosh. Hello? Uh -huh. Brother, you left your uh, yeah. your Desert Eagle back. Oh, hello. Now that all that's out of the way, this guy looks sick and I want to capture him. I got to make sure that I don't just delete him. So, Malpaca, let's get to work. Let's capture this dweeb, huh? Oh, he's just, he's just not even gonna fight back. All right, makes my life a little easier. All right, now hopefully that'll do it. 38, 68, come on now. That's what I'm talking about, okay. All right, now that we cleaned all that up. Oh my gosh, there's still more. So maybe living here, I, you know, like I get it. I get why it's like high risk, you know? You get a lot of resources, but you're at the mercy of being constantly at war. And right, so it's looking like we might have a bit of a teleporter not too far away at some small settlement. If that's the case, then obviously we're gonna take that. Hey, how's it going guys? Just uh, passing through, passing through. Don't mind me. Oh, there's the small settlement. Oh, this looks like a perfect spot to live if there was just some more iron. Wait, what's what's the name of that pal? Nani? Excuse me? King Paka. Oh, guys, we got big goals. That thing looks sick. I want that. All right, so this is that settlement. Yep, small settlement. Are these guys, like, mean? They're gonna attack me? Oh, they seem pretty chill. So then there's a fast travel not too far away. It's a, it's a bit of a skip over, but we should be able to manage. Oh my gosh, dude. There's no way there's gonna be another raid already. A herd of wild pals. Where? Gives me a good opportunity to test out literally the devil, dude. What the heck? Bro is so intimidating. Where are you going? What job do you do? Or well, incineram. So I assume breathe fire. You punch rock. Surprise, mother... Useful. Oh my God. Guys, it's battle time. Oh, bro. Incineram is diabolically strong and he punches rocks so that he's super useful but now comes the time where we are going to uh, disassemble the pal box this has me so nervous i'm just so worried about losing all the pals that i already have uh, yolo oh all pals at the base will be stored in your pal box perfect that's all i cared about hello okay but now i can take the checkpoint at the very very start of this entire world Let's travel on over to the small settlement and fly on over to the new home. Now we can be able to place down our pal box. I wish I could like see where it's gonna go before I even place it. Cause like I kind of want a part of, oh, that's not, okay. Well, that showed me the outline now that I placed that. Oh, I hear shiny. What? Hold on. This is like the fourth shiny now. It's a shiny pansy. I will take a shiny monkey any day of the week. Actually, you know what? <laughs> I just, I can't risk it with him around. Okay, maybe I can. This thing's a little strong. This thing's a little strong. All right. Maybe I can. Oh, God, he's shooting fireballs. Clap his cheeks. Just not quite as, dip, as hard as last time. Whoa. There we go. Maybe he should be low enough. Let me get rid of this Tansy. This guy's just staring at me. And one more. There we go. He should be weak enough now. Bruh. Okay. All right. This bro really wants to get down to one health. Come on now. There we go. Another shiny in the bag. Okay, so yeah, I can see the outline of where this pal box would be. So it'd be like half of this plateau right here. It'd be like three of the ores over here. Hmm. Obviously, later on, I could just build more pal boxes, though. And just make one mega base. So maybe I just include all these ores for now right here by placing this down right there. We'll build up another one nearby. 
and make a mega base over here. But on the inside of this, we still got all of our pals. All right, that's all that matters. I'm not worried about all the stuff at the old base. Didn't really spend much time there anyway. Oh my gosh, why is this crown got like a tumor? Um, God dang it. <laughs> Regardless, now we can start obviously assigning different pals to do different jobs. I don't know what the little monkey guy does. Let's see what he does. He gets wood. Like every, like 90% of pals. All right. Oh, it says the icons like right here on the right side. I just don't know what each of those icons mean. I'll be honest. All I do know is that land balls are hard workers. They're Bob the Builders. You know, they basically gather up all the items that get left on the ground. And if I put down boxes, they'll just start loading up the boxes. For now, we need to start upgrading the base a little bit. That's not what I meant to do. Um, thank you. Oh my gosh. Is this what I'm going to have to deal with? Like, we just established a base and the neighbors are already coming over. Like, I haven't even set up yet. The house looks terrible. Let's go bust their cheeks before they even get down here. Can they even get down here? Wow, they got a long trip. We got a really, uh, really head start on this fight. All right, give them the hands. Come on now, go get them. What the dog doing? Incineram, what the hell? Are you double crossing me right now? What's happening? Okay, come on. Stop, stop running. Hit. Oh my gosh, these guys. There we go. Incineram. We're fighting. Thank you. It took you long enough. There we go. You know what? After that terrible performance, I need you to cook up some food. I really only have mushrooms. That's all we got. This is the game plan for right now. What I'm planning on doing is placing down a little like outdoor outposty type of thing right here where all the wooden stuff can be stored for now that my little man's is chopping down at and going to town at. Boys, are you good? What's happening? Everyone's in a, in a state of panic right now. Oh my gosh. Wait a second. I just realized some gigantuan mistake. These are all ores, which is super important, but I don't have any stone. Where's the nearest rock? Oh my gosh, another egg. <laughs> Eggs are cool, but not what I want. <laughs> give me, give me rock. It appears I've made a gigantuan mistake in miscalculation. And there's another egg. Okay. We got a lot of eggs. We gotta, we gotta incubate. Ooh, another chest. Okay, I think I'm good though because I could create a stone pit, which somehow will infinitely create more stone. I just gotta make sure that I actually place down enough of those and get pals that'll be able to work on them. I recently found out that I can't use a bed without a roof. Got me a little upset, not gonna lie. Does that count? Messing with the whole vibes. I wanted this to be like open outdoor, indoor, outdoor thing. I will be disassembling this. So new priority, I need to build up a stone pit. And for that, I'm gonna need a little bit of stone to start. I feel like I moved into a bad neighborhood. Just always gunshots, Just violence. <laughs> hey, yo, what's this? Special tree, ice skill fruit, grass skill fruit, and electric. Okay, so I can be able to like, Give my pals special skill fruits to be able to teach them new skills. Can I find a single rock I can mine? I love it. this rocky close side would have had a lot of rocks, but it does not. Moments later. There we go. Finally got some rocks. And now obviously with the stone, I could craft up a nice little stone pit. Yo, everyone get over here. I need some help. This is a big project. Look at him go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Then now I need to figure out what pal is going to make some stone. Which one's a stoner? I mean, we obviously know that Incineram does it. Or, yep, perfect. My boy. He's an actual fighting machine as well as a mining machine. Now we need a speed run basically upgrading this base a little bit. But then I can finally build a house. Because now that I upgraded the base, I can be able to have more pals at the base to be able to do more jobs, essentially. And then I'll always have these little land balls. <laughs> Helping me build things while also picking up all the resources. And with them automating everything, now I can actually start putting down the foundation for our base. There we go. This is kind of the foundation so far for the base. Just waiting on a little bit more wood. Come on, guys. You know something I just realized? Having a uh, shiny pals in the base is really OP. This monkey thing just destroyed. Uh <laughs> Some, some dire owls. They don't even want to come over here anymore. Anyways, now that we got the foundation for the base all set up, now I can actually kind of like like a wall in the entire thing. Oh, well, I do need some windows. That's for sure. Mm. Mm. This stupid ground part. Oh, this is going to drive me insane. I was going to have two doors as well because we're just kind of sick like that. Or should I just do a wooden gate down in the middle? That kind of be cool. Like if I just plop down a giant wooden gate right here, can I do that? It doesn't snap, but it 
fits. Oh, it's huge. Guys, hold on. I don't know if we want this. <laughs> it looks cool. No, yeah, we need to cancel this though. We need to uh, yeah, yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it looks. Dire Howl's back. You guys want the smoke again? Monkey, thank you. <laughs> Wait, why does it say the team seems hungry? I gave you guys stupid things over here, huh? Oh, I gotta put stuff in it. I can't just put seeds in it? Oh, there's berries at the berry farm. I see, I see, I see. Now I take the berries from the berry farm and I put it in their food now. There you go. I'm not certain about doing this whole uh, giant gate down in the middle thing. It looks cool. I just don't know if it makes sense for the base though, because now the second level isn't really gonna be usable. Give me a multi-story house, you know, sick like that. I mean, come on now, that's looking pretty sick though. I'll be honest, I'm vibing pretty heavy with it. Mm. Yeah, this is gonna be a little funky. Mm, now I have an idea. If I tear it down, we can build it back again, but we can rotate it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See where I'm going? Excuse me, pals. Can you all get out of the way? There we go. Now the door is open outward. Perfect. Bro, why does the pal team seem hungry still? Don't you guys have food? Hey, you guys got food. Go eat. I'm starving. I'm starving for you guys. I'm being a good parent. Oh no, a herd of man-eating wild pals on the way, huh? We'll see how they fare. <laughs> in the meantime, I'm gonna cook myself up some food. Yo, come over here, Incineram. I need your help whipping it up in the kitchen. Thank you. Looks like the invasion's here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's just a complete war. And and they're getting destroyed. Oh wait, this... Yep, there we go. And then here comes the rest of them. Come on, boys. Take them out. You know the rules of the base? Someone walks in. Cheeks clapped. Bro, what are these keys for, man? Copper key, silver key. We're dropping keys nonstop. I got the keys. I got the keys. Is it like someone's job to get rid of these carcasses? Or is it my job? Do I, do I gotta get rid of these? Is that how this works? Okay. Off the cliff we go, huh? See you later. Not enough about upgrading the actual uh, PAL box. Now we can obviously finish building out the base. I mean, in reality, this is, I would, I would call this like base V1, you know, like, cause once we are able to build up another pal box, I build a new house up there and we're talking mega mansion. Okay. This isn't, this isn't working. The gate. I love the gate. I think it looks cool, but it's not gonna, it's, <laughs> it's not quite working out. So instead we'll just put down a door right here with another door right here. Oh, you know what? I just had a galaxy brain idea. What if I build the gate here? Bruh. Oh my gosh. I swear living here, there's like 800 times more raids. Oh, yep. I mean, that's kind of what happens when I come near the base. I mean, it's on you guys if you want to do that. There we go. Now we boxed in the entire bottom floor. I do need some lights. Um, mounted torch. Does it, does it only mount on the ground? Wall mounted torch. There we go. That's what I want. Mm, any more technology? I just realized that I haven't really done any sort of walking around in this place yet. Sorry about that. I did, you know, uh, <laughs> Nightwing's a little wild. He likes to attack random things. Um, I haven't done any sort of like bartering in this little town. Oh, bro just sells pals. Like straight up. I want the cow. What the heck? That thing is sick. Hey, why do you have this in here if you sell pals? And, and that. Interesting. Okay, what's this guy got? Hmm, pal spheres, medications, bones, nothing that I really desire. This place does suck. So honestly, I was hoping that I could be able to buy maybe like a little bit of wood or something like that. Then I could be able to, you know, build the house a little bit faster. But it's okay. All right. Fortunately, you know, I mean, the pals, the pals are doing enough work, I think, getting enough wood for us. And obviously, instead of doing the, uh, the big old gate in the front, we'll just have the... A little balcony. Maybe I could be able to build handrails later. I don't know. I don't know if that's an option or not. But obviously downstairs right here is where all of our workbench stuff is going to go. So let me build up a couple more of them. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to build a furnace again. I can put down a couple furnace like right here. I was taking a nap in the middle of the day. Really? In this climate? I need to figure out what pal mines ore. Or is just mining mining in general. What I wanted to do was get some ores. But then I can be able to smelt them all down. So come out here and send a ram. Get to work on this thing. Then now with those ingots, I can be able to craft up some nails. And then now I can be able to place down a much bigger and better workbench. There we go. Now we pretty much got almost all of our workbenches and stuff like that all set up. Now all we really need to do is slap a... 
roof on this. How do you do the roof? Do I have to do it like this? I really don't want to do it like this. Actually, galaxy brain go like that. So then I can get on top. Nice. And then now I can go up here and then place them down like this all the way across. And I'll just delete all the ones I don't want anymore. I'm going to say my boy is pretty swollen. No way I can go in build mode, right? Ah, that's what I thought. Oh, wait a second. I goofed. Ah, huh. it'd be really cool if I could go in build mode while also mounted up, but uh, yeah, that doesn't seem to be legal. You know, finesse in this roof is actually a lot more complicated than I thought it would be. <laughs> Unless, hold on. We're cooking. Insufficient funds. Whoa, wait a second. I haven't ran out of wood in a while. Who's slacking off? Oh yeah, I got rid of my wood chopper guy. He was slacking off. There you go. They're getting some more wood now. And there we go. We should be good to go on the roof now. Everything should pretty much be all set. Okay, yeah, we're getting rid of that portion of the roof. Uh, it didn't turn out quite how I thought it would. There we go. And now that's looking pretty good. It's our big old house to ourselves. And then obviously we'll expand the base as we go. Giving different pals, you know, maybe their own home because they're special pals. Maybe uh, we start naming some pals after some subscribers, kind of like we did in the old hardcore world. But obviously upstairs, we got our, what's gonna be our bedroom essentially. Downstairs are working zones, and then we'll build a separate storage house that'll be completely separate from the house because I don't wanna deal with pals going in and out of my house all day long just to store some items and some chests. Here, now we can be able to actually move in with our bed. I'll put our bed right here. And maybe build up some like storage up here that's just specifically my storage my own special storage Ooh, and then we got some decorative shelves yeah i gotta put them up gotta decorate a little bit in here <laughs> a wooden countertop it's literally a bar holy crap it's huge it's way bigger than i thought it was gonna be although it looks really cool this is more like an outdoor thing i'll be honest if i if i had this like outdoor like a part of this or something if their beds weren't right here that'd be cool i think actually i could build up like special chests right so if i wanted to have my own little like chest room and stuff mm, yeah metal chest Yo, what is happening right now how could you guys let this thing in and attack me hello <laughs> actual war <laughs> going on you know we got seven technology points here i'm gonna get a wooden table just for decorating purposes Ooh, a dire house saddle i think the dire house really fast uh, mount obviously flying is pretty ideal but the wall torch we will absolutely take those wooden wall defenses i want that especially because where we live then so now i can build like sicko mode giant walls oh yeah actually just make the base look even cooler just add a little bit more flavor to it having giant spiky walls on the side of it oh yeah because now we got like a nice fortified base. Look at this thing. That's looking pretty OP. I wish they had this, but like with windows. I mean, I kind of defeat the purpose, but still. <laughs> Look, now I can be able to put like a bed right here. For like special pals or something, you know? Pals that I care about a lot. But for now, I think the base is coming along. We'll end up working on some outdoor storage. Expanding the base, obviously, once we up update the pal box a little bit more. But for now, this is working for me. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys smash that like button. Hit subscribe. Join the Paul GG army. Let me know if you guys want to see some more of this juicy Pal World content, some more adventures, and some more things, because this is literally an endless world of things to do. So comment down below some ideas that you guys want to see me do in this world. And for now, I will see you guys in the next one.